Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with more of a reaction to My 600 Pound Life. And this one is, you can't be mad because I want to live without fighting. Which I think everybody wants to live without fighting, right? But this looks like a same-sex relationship or whatever. So I'm kind of curious to see this because I don't think I've ever watched one of those on the show or seen the dynamic before i've seen guys break up with women because they started to lose too much weight and stuff like that but i don't think i've seen this before it's been a month since my weight loss surgery and i feel like i'm fully recovered okay doctor now move if you're a month in you can very easily be losing a pound a day but a month in you are not fully recovered she should just be getting to the soft food stage, which is like tuna fish or soups and stuff. She should have just got off the puree stage, which is like blended up scrambled eggs and all kinds of nasty stuff. Feed back the solid foods and set him on track. She so shouldn't So he's be. happy with my progress. But he reminded me I have to keep working on my emotional issues. So I had another appointment with Lola, and she pushed me to have a conversation with Erica next about our future and our goals. Because I shared with Lola how Erica is getting insecure with my weight loss. Okay, well, your emotional weight well-being has a lot to do with your physical, you know, well-being, or you wanting to lose weight and this and that. But if they're arguing it's affecting our weight loss, cut her out. And she's scared I'm going to leave her. Hi. What are you doing? You want to come talk to me in the room for a little bit? Sure. Okay. That is like the most dreaded thing you can hear from the person you're dating. Can we talk? Because if, uh, say my girl texts me, hey, we need to talk, my first thought is, fuck, man, what's going on? What, what happened? Like, you can't even say that to me and not finish up the text message or tell me what's going on because I'm going to demand immediately you tell me. There's no waiting to see you to talk about anything. Let's do it. I'm going out and I'm doing things and I want to enjoy them. And so if she's not going to enjoy them, it's like the point of this journey was to live. Okay, so she's an introvert, I guess, and she just don't want to go out at all. And you wanted to lose weight to get out, which is kind of why I wanted to lose weight. Just to get out and live my life again. And I feel like I'm ready to have a talk with Erica about my needs and our future together. Uh, what do you want to talk about, bro? So the therapist said that we should um, write down our goals and, you know, separately and see if they align. I can already tell you they don't align, but whatever. I had to see a therapist too before surgery because they want to make sure you're not going to be one of those people that gets clinically depressed from the surgery because you can't eat the way you used to or find that comfort in food. So what, what, I mean, what are my goals? Just your, you know, just what do you want to do? Like, what do you see happening? So hard to write. Play more video you. games. What if we don't have the same goals? I don't. Then you're out the door, woman. Get out. No, I'm just playing. But um, no, I, I don't think they're going to align because everything she was just saying is what the normal person would want. You know, a happy life, family, a house, all that, right? I don't know, Erica, because life is short and it's like your goals are your goals. I'm done. Okay. You just want to read them out loud? Okay. You read yours. Read me yours first. I said you first. <laughs> That's some middle school shit. Just read the damn thing. This was my idea, so you read yours first. Yeah, your idea. You go first. Uh, marriage, travel, children, a house, a good job, being able to see both our families, to be able to trust each other and go back to school. I don't think she said anything that crazy. Does anyone else think that was crazy? Hmm, nothing. Oh no. Is she the one with the... Oh. I think I see where this is going and I'm getting pissed. Continue losing weight. Mm -hmm. Skin surgery. Mm -hmm. Focus on the diet. <laughs> GED. 
move home to be around my family. Me, 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 me. There wasn't nothing about you in there. Oh, no. This is when you stand up and just bing, bing, bing. Just give her a little three piece of chicken. Stability. I'm kidding, obviously. I do not promote domestic violence, but ah, oh, this woman. Ooh, that's so messed up. Become my own person. Move home, mean move back to your family. But you knew that. So it's whatever you want, right? No. Yeah, it is. It's what you say goes. That's not fair. What's not fair? Nothing you said involved being a couple. At this point, I'm thinking you used this woman to get the surgery, kept her around just long enough, and then you were just done. I don't pre-watch any of this shit, so I had no idea this was going here, but this chick, ooh, ooh, she's making me mad, and this ain't my relationship, but this is just, you have got to be one of the shittiest people on earth if that's what you're doing. Yep, and it's fair for me, right? <laughs> Oregon. You know what, Erica? whatever hey my girl's from Oregon I live in Maryland but she flew out here some years ago and we met and we've been on and off for years but I like Oregon <laughs> no it's not whatever it is whatever because at the end of the day you can make the decision No, at the end of the day you have every choice in your life and you are a grown-ass woman so you need to stop the point is you're being selfish because I'm trying to accommodate you and understand that how is that accommodating me I think she accommodated you until you got what you wanted and now you're done. Like, ooh, this chick pisses me off. And she's making it seem like it's her that did it. But it's definitely you. You are the scummiest person. And when you're 600 pounds and scummy, you don't deserve any relationship. Because you gotta at least have a good personality at that kind of weight to keep a relationship. But you are just scum. Because Either you, you can go back to, to Oregon or let's her. break up. That's accommodating. Stop making me out to be the bad one when you have a choice to go back to. That's not fair, Erica. Okay. I don't even know what to say. I'm shocked. Want to live without fighting. That's all I, I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be a good couple fight. I didn't know that this scumbag piece, ooh. Oh, she, oh my God. All I'm saying is I love you. You've been here for me. You love you, you selfish, ooh. This whole journey, I'm grateful, but you can't be mad at me just because I just want to live a life without fighting. It's whatever, dude. And you want to live your life because now you get to be free. That's all it is. This is what crimes of passion were made for. This is how people get shot doing shit like this. I don't know. Are we done? What don't you know? You used the shit out of her. Done. Oh that didn't God. go like it was supposed to at all. How is it supposed to go? Let's write down our goals so I can show you that I was using you until I could get what I needed and now I'm done. How was that supposed to go? And I can't believe this. I feel so dead. Run dog, she's gonna use you and then she's gonna eat you. You're only good when she needs you, run. That dog's so cute though. Devastated and I don't know what to do or say. Why are you devastated? A year later. Hey, she lost a lot of weight. Cause I've lost less than that and I'm 15 months out of my surgery. I'm at 268 down right now, but I didn't do all the right shit at the start. I mean, I was still drinking sugary stuff and screwing up. I wish I had started out stronger. I'm doing great now. I'm still losing like two pounds a week, but I should have started out stronger. I, I didn't start out the way I should. Wait. In these past couple of months, 
I feel like I've been getting stronger and finding more of myself. I guess she's short is why she looks still that big. But I mean, I think I look a lot skinnier. I'm 338, but I'm six foot four. So I think I'm not being fair. As I work through the things I need, for the first couple of weeks after breaking up with Erica, I really just wanted to eat everything I could. But I didn't. And I know it's because I'm growing. And no, it's because you didn't want to need her again because you just burned your whole house down telling her, well, I think uh, we need to, you know, write down our goals. You burned, you blew up the whole spot. She knew exactly what you wanted, exactly how you used her until you didn't need her. So you can't put the weight back on because there's no one else for you to use. And making progress with how I'm doing Scumbag, things. bro. So I've been able to stay on track like I need. And Dr. Now says he's proud of me. And if I keep it up, I'll be in the low 300s in three to four months. Every time you hit under that 100, like the first time I hit under five, I was like, oh, okay, I just had the surgery. Then next, you know, I was under four and I'm like, oh, and now my goal, I have 10 pounds to go until I am no longer considered morbidly obese. I am just regular obese at that point. So, I mean, I, I'm getting there. 10 pounds. Like, I, I've been morbidly obese since I was like 15. And he said once I do that, I can get excess skin removal because it's starting to sag on me and it's getting worse as I lose more weight. My loose skin's not that so bad yet, but it's starting goal. pretty, you know. And my dad is helping me do it. Put him up. He had gone back to Oregon after. Now you better have a better punch than that for when that woman comes back and wants her compensation back. You better be throwing them up. My surgery. But since I'm on my own now with Erica gone, he decided to come stay with me and help me for a bit. He reminds me, he looks like and angry really grandpa, my time maybe not. With him. And I'm super motivated to make it to my target weight as soon as possible. Because once I do, I can move back to Oregon to be with my family. She so used that chick. I can't believe it, bro. That's so crazy. And you just all smiles, too. Like, you are so scummy, lady. And I can't wait for that because I miss them so much. My weight has kept me from my dreams and from truly living my whole life. And in some ways, it feels like I'm having to learn to really live. But I'm loving every minute of it. And I feel so free for the first time in my life. It's crazy how much better you feel when you can just get up and go do stuff for yourself. And for a long time, you're going to hold yourself back. Because like I said, I couldn't get up and go to the store. Now I couldn't imagine not getting up and go doing all my own stuff because it just feels so much better. Hi. Hi. You look pretty. Can I do it? Thank you. I'm going to show all of you guys what I look like, all the weight I lost. Are you guys ready to see? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay, so nobody saw you. Also, I had this crazy thing going on where I, I was probably damn near 200 pounds down before I could see it in myself. Because you just look in the mirror and you see the same guy. So it took me a long time to even be like, yeah, I'm losing weight. Because people are like, wow, wow. And I'm like, I don't really see it yet. I'm going to stand up and show you. I have confidence I can do this. Your confidence is going to skyrocket. But you're still a scumbag. Like, there's, I don't even want to hear you be happy because you're a total piece of crap for what you did to that lady. Using the hell out of her like that. But that kid's reaction was cute, the way he started screaming. And I believe in myself again. And so I have no doubt now. I'm going to make it to where I want and have the life I want to. So now, when I come home, we get to go do fun stuff. You can take us to the even if it doesn't look I don't know about fun stuff because she's still breathing a little hard from getting up and doing that spin, but she can definitely get out. Exactly like I wanted. As long as I'm healthy and happy, it's still the life I've always dreamed of. And I can't wait to see what new and exciting things that life and future have in store for me. 
Yeah, besides your girlfriend who you used the shit out of until you got the surgery and then you were like, I think we have different goals. I want to move back home and none of my goals align with you in the picture. I, I can't believe she did that. That's so terrible. Like, nobody on earth should ever trust that woman from this point forward because there is no reason to. But all right, guys, you, you got my opinion on it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Take her easy, and if she's easy, take her twice. I'll see you guys.